What is up, guys? My name is Big DC. Uh, I feel like at this point you should know that, but at the same time, every time I'm gonna. What is up, guys? My name is Big DC. You can call me DC. And today I just wanted to test out. I wanted to know. Yeah. Intro right there, right? So, in the in the spirit of trying to make it a habit of making a video every week, at least one video, I can make two or three. I wanted to talk about uh, one of my recent failures of a print, actually. Um, yeah, I, as you may notice, as, as you can notice, I have this mic now. This is my lapel that I printed. I designed and printed a handle for it just so that I can see if this would be better or not. But uh, it keeps me from waving my hands around awkwardly. And uh, yeah, I feel like this, this is great. Um, yeah, so one of my recent failures in uh, 3D printing is uh, I wanted to print a teleprompter for my camera. So I, I went into Thingiverse, into Yegi, one of the, uh, the two sites that I go to when I'm trying to search for 3D models. There are a bunch of like uh, gigantic uh, teleprompter prints that you can make. And I wanted one that was very simple. So I found one on Yegi, which incidentally linked me to Thingiverse. And it was a very simple teleprompter where you put the glass in the front and you put a cloth on top so that it creates the black. Basically, that's it. But in the process of printing that, it was very late in the night. I just finished editing something for an org. And um, sad to say, it was a failure. There's a bunch of uh, things that I failed to check before I printed it. It was a very long print. For me, it was, it was a very long print. Not relative relative to other 3d printers out there uh, printers being people not the printer um this model was fairly long for me it was like a seven eight hour i let it go overnight so yeah one of the things that i failed to check was um uh bridging so bridging is when a printer goes and print uh, lays filament down in thin air so that it bridges across points right and i forgot to put uh, i forgot to turn on supports for bridging so essentially in the slicer i forgot to turn on supports for bridging and uh the default for it is uh turned off so i didn't know that was a thing so when i was checking the model it was like, okay yeah this is fine and when it printed um it started bridging it started bridging this it this prints on a like a like on a support right there right uh, because there's like a little triangle at the bottom, which which at the, at the same time was also my fault. I should have printed this upside down so that it didn't need to bridge at all. So like shows you how much of a, how much of a dumbass I was. But um, but I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys what happened here. Um, basically, you can see this part right here didn't adhere at all like I don't know if you can see that but I can move the individual filaments right there I can move the individual like strands of laid in the filament but at the same time on the other side where it uh, laid down the plastic um, on a heart on a horizontal not lengthwise uh, it actually bridged pretty well and didn't need uh, any support so yeah I, I I failed to check that part. Wait, let me just focus this again. Focus again. I'm just I'm manually focusing this because my autofocus is not working. But yeah, I failed to double check this model when I printed it. It should have been printed upside down so that I wouldn't need supports at all. And uh, yeah, I basically it was a very long day. I didn't sleep yet. I was editing. I was enlisting for my classes this semester, and yeah, it was it was a whole thing. I just you know when you have that parang when you have that night wherein okay, I should sleep, but I need to I, I I'm do, I need to do shit, and then you keep on going, and then it's the next day, and it was like oh if I sleep now I'm gonna be sleeping through the day, and then like hmm okay let's just stay awake for the whole day and then just sleep at night. Yeah, that's what happened to me. So. Um, yeah, after, when I woke up, I, I, I was greeted by this, but at the same time, this had another part where you put your camera on it. That's the part where you put your phone on so that you can have like a screen for the teleprompter, right? This was the other part, and sad to say, this used to have something on the end here, 
and it broke. Now, when you print things on a 3D printer, um, for the most part, you should be printing where forces are going to be exerted. So I printed this. It was stupid because in hindsight, I, sh I should have really double checked my models. But this printed uh, on the bed laying down like this. I should have printed it like this. <laughs> I should have printed it upright so that I could have the strength of the individual print lines going across into where that lip was. So there's originally there is a lip here. There's a lip right here. Right? And since it printed on the bed like laying down like this, the lines of uh, filament goes across this way, but the glass that goes onto this thing would just l lever itself and then just literally broke the front so i'll show you guys again wait this way ah uh, yeah so if you guys want to see that i don't have autofocus but it literally broke it off and i also have that uh failed bridging on the bottom because this printed this way yeah so it was a let me focus again every time i do that i have to refocus because like uh, yeah i need a new camera but i don't have the funds for it anyway so yeah this this was a failed print but i now i do know how to print it but at the same time it also had another fatal flaw the there were there are two lips to this that uh, basically sandwich the glass in which the teleprompter would work right but the upper lip is uh complete but the lower lip it 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 has a point in its print where it's so thin that it's literally one line of plastic and why 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 would you design it like that so i feel like i would I, I was trying to avoid trying to design my own teleprompter for but like I'm, I'm just it's it's not as easy as it seems to model things like this although it does feel, I feel like I can model this pretty easily um I just you know I'm lazy I'm too mad. if it already exists why go into the effort of designing but at the same time if you go into the effort of designing it, you learn a bunch of things. So this was a learning experience for me. Um, 3D printing this teleprompter. Uh, I don't even know if I'm ever going to use a teleprompter at this point. Because I want my videos to be more organic, less scripted. But yeah, that's 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 one of the things that I really want to I really want to emphasize on this YouTube channel. It, I want it to be more authentic in the sense that whatever is, comes to my mind, that's what that's what you're getting. So yeah, um, th there was multiple like learning experiences for me because I also got new filament. It was the cheapest filament I can find on Lazada. It was literally 350, 400 with shipping, uh, pesos. That is Philippine peso, and it was 400 Philippine peso including shipping and that's the cheapest PLA filament that you can find in the Philippines the next one is like 750 without shipping so that's like 600 um, so yeah this was a great learning experience as cheap as the filament goes it's kind of brittle but at the same time it's great it, the, the surface finish is amazing if if you look if, uh, if if I if you saw the, the, the surface finish from earlier like over here on top it looked amazing bro but yeah it's it's kind of brittle on the uh what would you call it uh it's kind of brittle on the uh vertical so it snaps very easily if uh, it's not along the layer line so if if you're if you have if you have a print that goes vertical up on the printer and your individual layer lines are like that it's gonna snap it's very it's very easy for it to snap uh it splits along the individual layers that's that's the big thing about it but it's so cheap that you can just literally print stuff again and again and again and order another one and like be below like a thousand pesos still 
that's that's the that's the big thing because uh really good PLA here in the Philippines is like 750s 800 that's like Isan PLA plus and then the next one below that is I think Obsidian or Gears 3D which is around 3 no 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 500 to 600 pesos it's still when you buy two rolls of that that's already above 1000 this one was 350 400 for one roll including shipping and if you're buying two it's still less than a thousand so yeah i'll have a link to that down below but it's it's a great filament but this was a really great learning experience for me uh, i don't know if this mic is better I, you guys can tell me down in the comments i feel like it's better for me because it it makes me a little bit more relaxed because i have something that i'm holding compared to just like talking waving my hands around and like stuff like that it's it's harder to demonstrate stuff though because i, I only have one hand and i don't have autofocus so yeah so yeah if you guys have any questions comments reactions if you guys want to talk to me you can talk to me down in the comments below i'm thinking of going live on youtube one of these days maybe like designing one of my next uh, models uh, but yeah this is one of those videos Alam.